and we have this implosion of the entire monarchy. Uh, I think Meghan Markle was a very useful way of kind of destroying that. A very useful fool uh, for helping destroy one of the loveliest things, which was the relationship between the two brothers. So Prince Harry releases Spare, we have the coronation and we have this like almost implosion of the entire monarchy, the great institution of the UK. And it's like all of a sudden everything is just exposed. What are your thoughts? Mm. You know, it's like things people can believe in. One of the ways that you get a, a population to rip itself apart is remove things that people had faith in. So some people may have had faith in the church and we've seen how you know mm. our churches are now architects offices which really annoys me um, or you could rip apart things that they might believe in like people may have been proud of their flag so you make it that people can't fly the union flag anymore that a flag is kind of a racist symbol I mean imagine the flack you're going to get for sitting in front of part of the union flag just because it happens to be in my house um, and then the royal family now for young people it may have been meaningless anyway you may be anti-monarchist but for a large tranche of the population, the royal family was something they were proud of and believed in and believe in, uh, particularly in the time of uh, the Queen Mother and the Queen. And my family were always three o'clock on a Christmas day. Everybody has to be in front of the TV to listen to the Queen. That was always a tradition that my grandparents had and you weren't allowed to speak. That's just how it was. So it was just another thing people could believe in mm. and another thing that gets ripped apart. Uh, I think Meghan Markle was a very useful way of kind of destroying that. Obviously, in a modern era, what's the relevance? So when you say a useful monarchy? way, are you implying she's some kind of plant? I don't know that a plant, I just know that she was very, very well trained, both as an actress, even though you may say she's a crap actor, but she was a very useful fool uh, for helping destroy one of the loveliest things, which was the relationship between the two brothers. Mm. Meghan Markle, when she went on her first date, this is from my time at Mail Online, when I had access to things, um, Meghan Markle on her first date with Prince Harry wore Princess Diana's perfume, which if you're like an emotive wow. person that Fuck. remembers things with smells and remembers safety or security or the smell of home, Meghan Markle smelt like, like his mother on the first date. So she came along. I, really? 100%. Why would you do that? To, because Prince Harry was helpless in needing his mother. He's always needed his mother. And it just so happened that instead he got the trailer trash with the same perfume. Wow. What I love yeah. about, uh, and it's something about a resilience thing and about the post-it notes, is if you've anybody seen recent, uh, and you may be an anti-monarchist and, and, you know, more... How do you feel about the monarchy? Is you... Oh, I, I think, um, I like that people like them. I like the elderly people gathered, like the respect, I thought, for the, for the Queen's funeral. I found it charming. And over time, why not allow people who loved the Queen and believed they had a relationship with her in a meaningful way, why not allow them to feel proud and to lie in the street and queue for days? What, what, I love that, that, that spine, that's meaning for people. And I accept many people don't agree, but that's okay as well, stay home. Um, I don't think you need to stand with a sign saying, not my king, just, just get out of the way. Mm. for a minute like I could get out of the way if I disagreed with something mm. let people who need that have it but what I really love is Kate Middleton and people can say oh she's just posh and she's just useless and she just doesn't do anything look at the way she's rolling it now like if you looked at her for any of the latest outings she is power she comes out there all humble. She holds her hands just so. She has her little legs just so. Stuff I don't have any understanding about, like female stuff, like crazy. Um, but she, inside, I can see in her, she is like that. It's a Meghan Markle. Mm. Every time she steps out, she's basically doing that, but via 
you know, Alexander McQueen and, you know, mm. immaculate everything. I love her for that. Like, powerful woman, mm, her. So that really, I guess I find the positive in things. Mm. So do you think um, the, the coronation of the king mm. did that bring a bit of togetherness back with what had happened with the royal family? Do you mm. think the royal family is a, like any empire, a dying empire? Yeah, I think it's a dying... Golly, you're a bit tragic, aren't you? Dying well, mama. Well, I mean, it, it sh mama. death is life, isn't it? Ooh. We're, we're, well, now you've gone back to the light. I don't know. No, but, but, okay, let me. Um, I have this theory that everything in the universe is either growing or dying. Nothing is staying the same. True. So we're Correct. either growing or we're dying. Mm -hmm. And the British Empire, I mean, you know, look at what it was. Obviously, there's some big downsides to how the empire went and claimed its land from other people. But it was a strong, powerful empire. We had the global reserve currency. Now we've now our pounds worth f all. Our monarchy is probably a, a, a bit of a global joke. But I think you can go from naive positivity in, in your youth to determined positivity in your haggard wisdom. Le leather, in, in, in our leather faces. <laughs> in our later leather. days. Yeah. So like a determined positivity, which is like, so we're talking about the royal family. Mm. OK, so sure that, you know, the end of times for the royal family is surely coming. Mm. They surely can't sustain past another generation. But in this moment, was it an uplift, the coronation? Mm, yes. A, in a particular moment in it that I um, and in K mid and the way she's just like, yeah. I l like that woman walking up the what you call it in a church? I was going to say gangway, the aisle of the church. <laughs> like. Looking up the gangway, what, it's not a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> With a, you know, just Holland Cooper trousers on. Mm, mm. Just, that is a look. So, so it's a determined positivity, if you see what I mean. Yeah. It's that we see what's coming, but there is so much positive that I now mm. feel. So that, and I think the coronation, the thing I loved about it um, was that, the day that the Queen passed, King Charles became king. And within 12 hours, he had to start uh, going through English, Scottish, Welsh and Irish parliaments to do whatever the ceremonial mm. thing was, forgive me. But what an amazing thing to have been schooled all your life that that was your purpose. And within 12 hours of losing your mother, you are stood in parliaments reassuring the nation. Ooh, gives me the shivers. Mm. Reassuring mm. the nation. So you can be anti-monarchist, you can be anti-everything, you can be anti-me, but I, I very much like the sort of moral courage of that thing. Mm. And what about the Queen? Whether you like the monarchy or not, did you ever hear her complain? No. Never. When all the stuff was happening with her, Prince Andrew. Oh, my God. And, you know, Harry. When did she once lose her, her, her yeah. aura? aura? Never. Unbreakable woman. And right at the end, when so everyone was gathered, weren't they, outside the balcony, and she'd gone in because she was in so much pain and she couldn't come out. And, and, King, and Charles went in evidently and said, I really think, Mummy, you should come one lot. And she made it out there. Mm. And people didn't know that within, what was it, eight days, she would be dead. Yeah. But she knew because she had to battle through. So, yeah. Uh, you know, without kind of labouring it for those who are completely over the royal family. But you can you can be over the royal family, and, but respect the queen and respect for, strength. Yeah, strength. So strength is what yeah. I, re I and I respect it with the, the queen, and I respect it with what King Charles was able to do at the same time as he lost his mum, mm. and I so respect it with Kate Middleton. Mm. Mm. Amen. Hey, quick, before you go, if you want to watch the full, raw, uncut version of this episode in detail, no holds barred, you can watch it here. But before you go, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on.